It is my great honor to welcome President Ninuccio to the White House. We've just concluded a very positive meeting, and I want to begin today by extending my thoughts and prayers for those affected by Hurricane Harvey and the catastrophe of flooding and all of the other difficulties that they're currently going through in Houston, in Southeast Texas, and now it's looking more and more like the state of Louisiana will be also affected. My administration is coordinating closely with state and local authorities in Texas and Louisiana to save lives, and we thank our first responders and all of those involved in their efforts. We're working directly with Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who, by the way, is doing a fantastic job, and his entire staff, likewise, as well as with Governor John Bell Edwards, who's very much uh, involved in starting the process of Louisiana. We've pledged our full support as Texas and Louisiana battle and recover from this very devastating and historic storm. There's probably never been anything like this. Under the supervision of FEMA, Administrator Brock Long, there has been uh, a, a tremendous amount of work done. He has, he has been so outstanding in so many ways. More than 8,500 federal workers are involved in the Texas effort alone. I've also today declared emergencies in Louisiana at the request of Governor Edwards. Recovery will be a long and difficult road, and the federal government stands ready willing and able to support that effort. Right now, the single most important thing is the safety and security of those still in harm's way, including the first responders who have been so terrific and brave. Protecting the lives of our people is my highest priority. Every asset at my command is at the disposal of local officials. Tragic times such as these bring out the best in America's character, Strength, charity, and resilience are those characters. We see neighbor helping neighbor, friend helping friend, and stranger helping stranger. And you see that all over. You watch on television, you just see such incredible work and love and teamwork. We are one American family. We hurt together. We struggle together. And believe me, we endure together. We are one family. To the people of Texas and Louisiana, we are 100 percent with you. We're praying for you. We're working closely with your leaders and officials. And I will be visiting the impact zone tomorrow to ensure that you're receiving full support and cooperation from the federal government. And on Saturday, we think we're going back to Texas, and also we will be going to Louisiana. Nothing can defeat the unbreakable spirit of people of Texas and Louisiana. Right now, every American heart sends its love and support to those whose lives have been upended, totally upended, totally, by this very horrible storm. We ask God for His wisdom and strength. We will get through this. We will come out stronger. And believe me, we will be bigger, better, stronger than ever before. The rebuilding will begin, and in the end, it will be something very special. And I just want to thank everybody in the affected area, because it has been absolutely incredible to watch the spirit, the cooperation, and the love. I would also like to share a message to the people of Finland, who have recently suffered a terrorist attack in Turku. We stand in solidarity with you against the terrorist threat. We must all work together to deny terrorists safe havens, cut off their finances, and defeat their very wicked ideology. Mr. President, Americans are grateful for your steadfast support as an ally in the fight against terrorism. Appreciate it. Including your membership in the coalition to defeat ISIS. 
Finland makes important contributions to the coalition and its effort in Afghanistan and has troops on the ground in Iraq training Iraqi soldiers. In Afghanistan, Finland provides troops and financial contributions to support the Afghan National Defense and Security Forces on a modern-day frontier between barbarism and civilization. That's what you have. It's barbarism versus civilization. We are particularly grateful to the Finnish citizens who have sacrificed for our mutual security. Finland is a leading expert in cybersecurity. In fact, we should be calling you pretty soon. You do do a fantastic job with cybersecurity, and I congratulate you. And uh, I think in a very short period of time, we're going to be right there with you, believe me. The United States is very proud partner of Finland's European Center of Excellence to counter modern threats, including cyber attacks. In addition, we look forward to your leadership as chair of the Arctic Council. The Arctic region has strategic and economic importance for both of our nations, very much so. The foundation of our friendship is our shared love of freedom. On behalf of all Americans, I congratulate you and the Finnish people on the 100th anniversary of Finland's independence. 100 years. It's fantastic. In honor of Finland's centennial, the United States is contributing an additional half million dollars to the Fulbright Finland Foundation. Through the Fulbright program, we are sending more of our best and brightest to Finland, forging lasting connections between Americans and Finns. On the economic front, we seek fair and reciprocal trade to benefit both of our countries. I applaud Finnish companies for their commitment to increase investment in the United States, adding new technologies and adding good jobs for hardworking Americans. Thank you. The U.S.-Finnish partnership is rooted in our shared interests and common values. As President, and I must say, and I want to thank you, President, we've discussed and we look forward to further strengthening these bonds of culture, commerce, and cooperation between our two countries so that our citizens and our nations can thrive and prosper together. Mr. President, I'd like to thank you very much for being at the White House and had a great meeting in the Oval Office. It's my honor to have you here. Thank you. Thank you very much.